Hey, a pleasure good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is our next NFL video on the NFC Championship, the great game between the 49ers, probably Jimmy G's last in the Niners uniform, and Matthew Stafford's first of many, probably, in the NFC Championship that Rams fans hope in a Rams uniform as he helps lead the Rams along with Cooper Cup and Odell Beckham, who both had over 100 yards receiving over the San Francisco 49ers. Early on, Matthew Stafford made a very bad bugaboo pass as he tried to force one to Cooper Cup, um, and that was a bad play that he adjusted from and bounced back from. Uh, in this game, <clears throat> uh, Jimmy Garoppolo was not able to win it for the 49ers, and he really has averaged only about 160 passing yards in the playoffs throughout his NFL career, so he's never been put in the position of Kyle Shanahan saying, go win it for me. It's been more, don't lose me the game. And guess what the Rams did immaculately? They went, well, we're going to make it then that Jimmy G has to beat us. And this became a good defensive game. That was a 20-17 to win, of course, by the LA Rams because they were able to get Matt Gay <clears throat> um, into um, field goal position at the end and he was able to win it for them. Uh, so, I mean, when obviously, when it comes to this game, the Rams did exactly what you want to do against the 49ers. They're a defensive run team. Obviously, their special teams got better. They checked down one within the five-yard line yesterday on a punt. Their special teams are not good in the regular season, but had key plays in the postseason, and that's a key takeaway from the entire postseason for them, not just this game, as that's the title of this video, key takeaways uh, and breakdowns from the game. Uh, Matt Gay, a kicker being absolutely potent, is a key takeaway from this game. Again, kickers have been a huge story in the postseason. There was a lot of kicking involved in winning games last week. And here's a kicker uh, winning a game again this week. Uh, Cooper Cup, of course, was able to have a great success in this game, catching a touchdown in the fourth quarter and catching a touchdown um, in the second quarter, uh, having both of their touchdowns. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, that one play that might have been able to lead. You never know uh, what would have happened um, if they had to punt that away or if they just had an unsuccessful drive. I can't remember what down it was when Jimmy Garoppolo flicked that up. I think it might have been third down. But either way, if they punted it away, what the Rams are going to do then? Obviously, that flick of the wrist throw that he flicked up and it got picked off, that was absolutely dumbfoundingly dumb. Uh, so Jimmy G, it seems like there's a time that you meet where he's a meh quarterback if you want to start him like uh he's just not overall great he's a guy that could be a placeholder starter but what obviously you're never going <clears> to <throat> not give him credit for is being tough and and being built for tough because he plays through a shoulder injury he played through different knee injuries in his career so he will play through a lot of crap but he just isn't even when healthy the most efficient quarterback he's more of a just glorified game manager that keeps you in games which which is is a solid uh, to have for an NFL career and he's made his money so claps up to him uh but he seems like now at this point he's more of a backup quarterback uh to a degree of being a guy that can come in stay healthy for you play through stuff if needed if your starter doesn't work out or or if he gets injured or placehold for somebody so that would be a takeaway from this game and the playoff, that Garoppolo will be that type of quarterback or placehold for somebody um, as they're waiting for a guy to develop or waiting for somebody to draft in, say, next year's draft if they're not going to pick someone in this year's draft. So that's another key takeaway um, from this game. Um, so obviously the Rams, as we wrap up this video, uh, they were led by Matthew Stafford again with Cooper Cup and Odell Beckham, who has actually been a huge addition, and then Kendall Blanton, uh, the tight end, has continued to have success. Obviously, he had a tutty in the playoffs last week, had 57 yards this week, so he's emerging as one of those unexpected performers that you always tend to have in postseason. He's definitely one of them, and Stafford is doing exactly what the Rams wanted when he came in. He's a up-here quarterback in the upper echelon of the league. Obviously, golf's more down here, and that's showing the difference is golf is more of just a game manager, Jimmy Garoppolo-level quarterback, where they're just meh starters and can be very good backups, but we'll see what ends up coming in the future with Jimmy Garoppolo as his contract expires, but when it comes to Matthew Stafford and the Rams, they're heading to the Super Bowl, and they're going to be in a good position 
to obviously be in the driver's seat for the Super Bowl against a very good Rams team. I think there's going to be a battle to the death Super Bowl and one of the best uh, we're going to end up watching uh, in a long time. That's my prediction for the Super Bowl. But overall, great NFC Championship defensive-oriented game that the Rams did exactly what you wanted. A-plus for their game plan. They did exactly what you wanted. They stopped the run and made Jimmy Garoppolo have to beat them, and he ain't doing that. If you're the Rams... Uh, you were able to get 20 off of a very efficient, top-notch defense uh, that Cooper Cup still went off against, uh, that also, of course, uh, Odell Beckham still went off against, and Bland still went off against, and Akers still had a couple decent runs mixed in there as well. Claps up to the Rams for getting to the Super Bowl. Congratulations, Rams fans, and better luck next year. I think you will have a good season with Trey Lance 49ers fans. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And enjoy, if you're a Pro Bowl watcher, enjoy the Pro Bowl. If not, enjoy getting ready and pepped up for the Super Bowl. That is, of course, in a couple weeks. Be sure to everybody subscribe down below on the easy-to-use sub button up above and the easy-to-use widget to help us get to 200 by the end of February. Peace out.